Yeah, so guys, huddle up, okay? We're just gonna have a quick new minion orientation. His name is Mr. L, and he comes to us from one of our key competitors. Hmm, fancy I'm impressed by the minion quality. No, indeed, no wonder you've been trounced up till now. You're like junior minions. Junior, come here, little. Junior, come here, I'll introduce you to Fish Junior and his wee little pal, and his wee pal Slappy. Gosh, Mr. L. I, I, I do not remember what voices I get for most of these characters. <laughs> Gosh, Mr. L, didn't but didn't you take get pretty spanked too? So maybe you're the junior. Spank you say? Oh ho! I was scouting him, dear. You will be mine next time. Yes, he shall know the fury of the one and only Mr. L, A.K.A. the Green Thunder. But enough about me. I have to head to repair, head to the repair bay for robots modifications. L Gator. Welcome, man in red. I don't remember what voice I did for most of these characters. Though the man in red shall wield formidable powers, one shall stand against him. The man in green shall use the Chaos Heart's power to bring darkness to all. <laughs> so it is written in the Dark Prognosticus. So what you're saying is, the man in green is our minion in training, Mr. L. What? That makes me... That makes about as much sense as beef and broccoli sandwich. Calm yourself, oh chucks. Make ready, Count Black is sending you on a new mission. Oh, now that makes sense. It'll be an honor. I, oh chucks, swear to you, the hero's got a hot date with me feet. Chucks away! My, aren't we hot-blooded? Well, well, I suppose that's to be admired. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to be on my way as well. Ciao! So poor little Mimi doesn't get to be in on the fun. That's the stinks! Yeah, I hate to seem like a whistleblower here, but Ochunks may not. Actually, even Dementio and Mimi and Mr. L may not be up to this. That hero's gonna collect the pure hearts and come here. He'll come for you. <laughs> All according to plan. Count Black assures you. It's strange. Nobody ever um, cherished the universe the way you once did. And yet, you see, you've been made. And yet, you've been made to destroy it. That's quite enough, Nastasia. If I could, I, um, I... You what? If I could have, you know, been that girl, things could have been different. She cannot be replaced. You could never hope to do so, Nastasia. Yeah, um, I'm very sorry, that just slipped out. To be sure, she is gone. Gone from all worlds, never to return. What? What are you thinking? There's no possible way. No one would allow it. If we can't be happy here, we must leave for a place that will accept our love. But, Lumiere, is there such a place? Think. I cannot bear to see you hurt again. If our love has no home, let us spend our lives searching together. 
so I beg of you again to be me. Marry me. I promise. I will make you happy. You just won't give up, will you? Of all the crazy, stubborn, foolish men. Tapini, answer me. Please? Lumiere, I love you. Take me away. To a world where we can be happy. Now we've gotten five pure hearts. This is turning quite into quite a collection. <laughs> what I tell you, huh? You've got the king of all evilness on your side. You can't go wrong. Yes, yes. <laughs> that said, we owe Squirps for helping us find this one. We should be grateful. Say, Tippy, something seems different about you recently. You seem to have a real attitude problem. You seem a bit more cheerful. That's not the word I would use. <laughs> it's a nice change. You think so? Well, ever since you saved me from Fort Francis, I've been feeling really good. I feel like I could just hang around with Mario forever. Me? <laughs> so, you're all back? How was it this time, then? Did you find another pure heart in outer space? Yes, we found the fifth pure heart. And this one... <sighs> happened. All of you, come to my house at once. Hurry now! Very well. Let's all take a breath and gather ourselves here. I'm concerned. Tippy may be unable to maintain her pixel form for much longer. Her pixel form? What the heck does that mean? Well, you see, Tippy was not always a pixel. I found her here in her true form, exhausted, cursed to wander the dimensions, through dimensions, forever. She was hanging by a thread, barely alive. So I took a desperate measure. Using my ancestor's magic, I transformed her soul into a pixel, and this Tippy was born. I can hardly believe it. So, where is Tippy from originally then? She has lost her memory, so I have no idea where she is or where she is from. Who she is or where she is from. But I can't help thinking she did not come here by chance. Fate connects us. And my intuition in this area is rarely mistaken. <laughs> Return to Bowser's arms! The void has grown larger, and these tremors have become common, I'm, I'm afraid. Our situation grows more dire by the moment. Will the events written in the Light Prognosticus really forestall the foretold doom? I will watch over Tippy, young hero. Take the pure heart. Find the next heart pillar. Alright. Let's see if we can find a heart pillar. It's been a long time since I've even gotten to this point in the game. Uh, let's come this way, maybe. I don't know. Oh, no. Let me up. Let me up there. Boomer, boom away.
So I'd like to take a minute to talk about the light and dark prognosticus. Um, I love how the dark prognosticus, the one that the one that foretells the death and destruction of all worlds, is the true one, and they just created a light one to kind of be like, no, there there has to be a way to stop this, right? There ha there has to be a way to prevent Armageddon. Um, it's actually quite, uh, quite the good story. Um, you know, I really wish that the Paper Mario games would get back into this type of storytelling. You know, I've never played the first game or even Thousand Year Door, mostly just because I can't find a copy of Thousand Year Door, and, uh, you know, like the, ooh, big game. But, you know, like the... It's just so, um... It's such a good story, you know? I love how the characters act during it. I love how... Just so much, you know? Hmm, why don't we try going back there? We haven't explored back here yet. Ooh, a place for Philippe! Philippe? Tippy here, so we can't just. <sighs> I hate this puzzle. I hate puzzles like this. I hate it in Resident, in uh, Sonic Adventure 2 or Sonic Adventure. I hate it here. What the hell? Why is this such a common puzzle? I do not understand that puzzle at all. seem like Flipside, but do not be mistaken. You were in Flipside, but now you flip-flop sides. Friends, you are in Flopside. Which means that I am not the Merlin you know. I am the Flopside version of a different... I am the Flopside version, a different Merlin entirely. You may call me Nor... Nor... Nalrim, Nalrim, Nalrim. Don't you see? 
Ours has always been a story of two towns, but only ones who know this flip-fluppery are Merlin and I. You seem a bit surprised. No, more like confused. Oh, <laughs> there is a front and back to all things, young ones. Now that the heart pillar, now the heart pillar is one floor up. Go and place the heart pillar within. See you. Ugh, how how fitting that they stick the most uh, brain teasery of puzzles into a place that makes me just cross-eyed with confusion. But everything here is flip-flopped. And now we place the next pure heart into the pillar. So that next episode, we can start chapter five. You appear to be performing your duties efficiently. I just got a message from Merlin. Tippy's been revived. They should be waiting for you at the top of Flipside Tower. Hurry, you must go there. Alright, so next time on Super Paper Mario, we head to Flipside and reunite with Tippy try and try to begin Chapter 5. But before all that, uh, there should be a person here we can talk to? Yes. What? Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!